floor, at the neighbors, in the market, in, in churches, under trees, at kitchen tables, in riverbeds, in between four walls. Learning happens in the small space of your enormous Learn on one. Invite learning in. Good morning, learners. Good morning at home. Are you fine today? I know it's a bit cold, but please rub yourself to feel the heat. I know now you are warm. Good morning, my friend. Okay. Welcome to my zone online school. My name is Teacher Mudabeti. Our theme for this week is media. Before we start with our new topic, we are going to sanitize our hands. Remember to keep your social distance of one meter or 1.5 from other people. Let us now sanitize. Spray, rub in, rub out between the fingers. There you got it. Now you are clean. Our lesson for today will be plurals, conjunctions, sentence structure, diphthongs, and digraphs. Okay, let's go over to page 14 together with the grade twos and the grade threes. You are also welcome to revise with us. We are going to do the plurals. We are going to learn about plurals. What are plurals? A plural is when anything or something is more than one. If I have one suite, that is not plural. But if I have two or more than two, then that is what we call plural because there are many. Now we are going to write the plural for each word by adding an S or an ES. When we write a word in singular, we write it without an S. Though there are some words which are ending in S, like a dress is already ending in S. But when there are many, we have to add, to add either an S or an ES. So now let's find out the rule on how to add an S to make a word plural or to add an ES to make a word plural. Which words should we add only an S, and which words do we add an E before an S? Okay. For example, if I say the word box, a box is ending with an X. So, one box, but if there are two or more than two box, so I'll say what? I'll have to add an E before an S to make it in plural, to say boxes. So which words should I then add an S only? All the words which are ending with any other letters of an alphabet, we just, end in, we just add an S. But those words which are ending with an X, with an H, and with an O, we have to first add an E before an S. And also those words which are also ending with an S already, we add an E 
before we add s to make it plural are we together but the rest of the words which are ending with any other uh, letters of alphabet first add an s then they are in plural they are many the first one is an apple if you write it in plural are you going to add a s or e s brush potato watch pig tomato fox ball sandwich x house b so check all those words and follow the rule that i have told you and see if you will get it right grade twos enjoy your work now i'm going to take the grade three over to page 15 but the grade twos if you happen to finish quickly please follow with us come with us on page 15 for conjunctions now what are conjunctions conjunctions are words that join sentences together maybe i have two sentences which are separate and i want to make one sentence i can join with one of the words which are there in the box they can be many some of them are not there but for our level we we'll only look at the ones in the box now which word should i put in the sentence to make it correct which conjunction should i use which joining sentence should i use joining word excuse okay let's read the conjunctions first those joining words i have and or before because but so and after okay so now let me quickly um explain to you how do we use each of the conjunctions and is used when you are adding some other information in addition to what you have said already or what you have done already you use the end because you are adding some information what about all or is when you are given options this or that but that joins two ideas which are opposites they oppose each other then when you join the same, those two sentences you have to use a but so when you use so it means you have to show the result of what came out of doing something or when something happens what happens after that before and after they show the order or the sequence of things how did they go before is earlier after is later okay so those are our conjunctions that we are going to use in these sentences let's look at number one sentence number one let's go to the bakery mm, get a treat let's go to the bakery mm, get a treat what conjunction do you think we can use there we go to the bakery we get the treat i think we will use end let's go to the bakery and get a treat okay so you are going to find out also the second third fourth fifth sixth and number seven sentences for me and try to put the correct conjunction and when you read it it must give you the correct um, statement according to what i have explained where do you use all those conjunctions in which situation okay number two you will need to put your coat on mm, we go number three i'll open the door mm, we can go in number four would you prefer a pink mm, blue cupcake number five i'm going to get a pink cupcake mm, it's my favorite color number six they both look good mm, you can only choose one number seven the last one we can go to the park mm, we finish eating which conjunction do you think will best fit the statements all right okay grade three and grade two together you can do that one let's continue to page 16. grade three are you still with me there let's come to page 16 together and see what we can do there now you have to write the following sentences in order they are jumbled or they are cut and you have to put it nicely in one sentence on the line which is provided 
And remember the rule also when you are rejumbling the sentences. You have to first look for a word that has a capital letter in it. Then that word will be the one to start the sentence. Are we together? Okay. So let's read the first one. And remember also the names of people and the names of places who always come with capital letters. So you have to be careful also there to select which one to start the sentence. It must make sense. Number one. By train, sometimes, Stephen to work drives. Those are the words which are jumbled. Now we have to put them nicely in order to make a sentence correct. Okay, which word do you think you will start here? I see the name is starting with a capital letter. Let's try and see. Stephen drives to work sometimes by train. Is that correct? Okay, let's try again this way. Stephen drives to work sometimes by train. Is that sentence now making sense? Okay, I think it does make sense, but if you think otherwise, put it the way you think and ask your friends, your parents, your aunties to help you. Okay, all right. Now let's look at number two. Uh, making toys we for all the children. Now look at the words again, which is starting with a capital letter there. Then that word will be the one to start the sentence. Which word there? The we is starting with a capital letter. So I think we should be the first word to start this sentence. Okay. So now let's make a sentence that makes sense. We are making toys for all the children. I think that one makes sense. Don't you? Okay. So now you can continue also practicing and putting this there and putting the other one there and try to read it until you find the final one which makes sense. Then you can write it in the space which is provided to you. Now continue with number four, number five, number six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And I will check your answers. Okay. Now let me get the grade tools back again. Grade tools, come with me over to page 17. The grade tools, you are going to enjoy writing and formulating your own sentences here. You write a message to anyone of your choice. Anyone, your friend, in about 8 to 10 sentences. Make your own sentences. They can be 8 or 10. Check your spellings and check your sentences, whether they are correctly constructed. Make the sentences nice. You can be rubbing how many times you want until you make a proper sentence. And I'll check with you again. Okay. We are going to look at the dive thongs on page 18 together. Okay, when the letters are together and they are next to each other and they form one sound, that is what we are going to look at. And they will always give a different sound when they are together. Are we together? That is what we call diphthongs. Okay, so we are going to look at the E for an elephant and the W for a watch. When the two are together, they will give a sound of a long ooh. We say ooh. That's a long sound that we hear. And we can get that sound in words like flew. Like if I fly, yesterday I flew. We say a eh, and the word at the end of the word flew. And we can also get that sound in a word stew. Stew. Like, you know, when you cook, you cook your nice meat and you put everything that is the stew. It will give you a long ooh sound. Okay. So now you have to find out for me which word is the one that fits. 
in the sentence which is given on the left column. Okay, you are given two possible answers. You read them nicely and you read the statement and you will find out which one is the correct one to be placed in the line that is provided for you in each statement. Number one, there are a mm light on. They are a mm light on. The two possible answers are blue, like if I blow, I blow the wind in the balloon, I blow, then I blew if it was yesterday. And few, few for less, literal things, if I have few number of things, that is literal number of things, that is few means less, okay? So which one will best fit in that line? They are a mm light on. I think it's few. I think it's, they are a few light on. Number two, my brother mm the ball to me. What did my brother do to me? He mm the ball. Which one is the word that can best suit in the line there? Is it through, like if I throw, I throw you with something? If it was yesterday, I would say, I threw. Okay? And then pew. Now, let's check which word will fit in the line there. My brother, mm, the ball to me. We always throw the balls to each other. I throw to you, you throw to me. Therefore, it is through. Through. Okay. Then you continue with number three. I love to mm, bubble gum. New or chew. Sam, mm, it was my birthday. New, new. The storm, mm, my house down. Blue, you, the birds, mm, south for the winter. Flu, news, news. Number seven, my glass has mm on the outside. Do, still, I bought a hammer and five mm. Screws, shoe, Lisa loves diamonds and mm. Jewels, pews, the mm reported a robbery. News, choose, feel bought a brand, mm, car. New, shoe, it's time to mm my subscription. Renew, new, my mom made mm for dinner. Do, still, the plant mm to the three meters tall. Grew, you, I mm a picture of a dog. Blue, Drew, okay, which word will best fit in the space provided in the statements on your left? Okay, so we move on to page three. We have a very fun activity there with nice pictures there. Okay, we are going to look at a digraph. Digraphs on page 19. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Okay, what are digraphs? A digraph is a blend of two letters that makes a sound. If two letters come together, it makes a sound, one sound. Okay, that is a digraph. So now we have the digraphs which are here, but to get the sound and the correct answer, we have to check the picture which is given to us. Then we will know what sound is represented by the picture. Okay. You say the name of the picture at the beginning of the row first. After you have done that, then you have to say call the word that begins with the same sound as the picture. The first picture, what is that picture? That is a shoe. What sound does the shoe give us? The two letters that comes together. This and the, when they come together, which sound do they give us? They give us a shh. Now which one? there do you think is the word that is having those two blending letters together number one is a ship a city happy and hey which one which word gives the sound of the picture the second picture there it says check it check that picture there what is the name of that okay is it a sun snip apple and 
Then you find out the name of it, which is not here on the answers, but the sound, the first two letters of the name of this insect, which is here. It is found on these four words. Which word is containing those two letters? And the third picture there also. Look at it. What is the picture? What is the name of that animal which is there? Okay, after you find out the name of this animal, I'm very sure that you are going to find the two letters which sounds in the name of this animal which is here. The name of the animal can be found on the words or it cannot be found, but all I need is only the sound, only the two letter sounds that comes together. Are we together? Okay. Now let's continue to the next exercise on the same page. You say the name of the picture again at the beginning of the row, and then you circle the word that begins with the same sound, the same thing again. What is the name of the first picture that you see? Then you have to know the sound. Which sound does this picture start with? And you circle the word that's having that sound. The second one, what is that picture? Which word is starting with the sound of the name of that picture? And the third picture also, what is the sound here which the name of this picture is starting with? You circle that word. Are we together? Okay. I think that is fun. Enjoy. <music>
name and town to 081-200-6659. One Africa TV, it just gets better. In a corner of southern Africa lies a vast and sparse land where endless horizons, dramatic scenery and untouched wilderness abound. A mosaic of biodiversity, sub-Saharan savanna, acacia bushland encased by two deserts. Home to wildlife and wilderness abundant yet ever at risk. This is Namibia, home to some of the most noteworthy conservation success stories across the globe. Natives forged, manned and driven by passionate individuals and groups. People are busy there uh, working for more than... The stories of the enigmatic wildlife and natural, natural wonders of the and the others are to to understand them. This is the story of those determined to preserve it and thereby themselves. Don't think um, I want to tell my children one day that we had rhinos in Namibia. I want to show them live rhinos. This is the story of the last defenders. We had been trapped to them for about seven days and on the seventh days we, we come across the butchers and uh, there was a shooting. We are not armed. We having a camera and GPS, we are just hiding behind the bushes. If I don't protect this uh, species, who's going to do that? So is that why I sacrificed my life to go on uh, conserve the rhinos? Armed out in the field with basically a notebook against poachers that are armed with highly dangerous weapons and more. How is this an equal fight? I, I start right on the ground as a trekker okay. and I worked all the way up to be the CEO now and I know how hard it is. It's commitment and dedication and the patience that you have for the animal. It's really hard. It's like you had something in your house that you are protecting for so long and when you go away from home somebody comes and kills you. Fine cross, fine sis, fine eye, Namibia eyes. Did I get sister Hulda Navasida? Did I get a eye koa? Namibia oncology center, Naragara Sisen, I come from now. D. Quido, Bounds a hari, Oms Nahari, Uma Baga Nahuri, Nugu said again, ha, Ugu, Habe, I get off, Nugu said again, ha, Ugu Habe. Han are ugu ha, hoge pounds ai hari. Ida kari nedi i twenty nineteen novel coronavirus sting higusa. Au au pounds ai ha pe. Today I'm joined by a panel of men, as per usual.